Hi, I'm Eric from Hux Racing, and this video will be part one of our ABS install on an SW20. We'll be using an MK60 E46 ABS setup. The pump, yaw sensor, pressure sensors, and wheel speed sensors are all a kit from 3DM Motorsports. We will also be using 3DM Motorsports wiring harness for the kit. That will be in another video. Uh, in this video, we're really just going to detail the current brake situation with the car and then we're going to show you the parts that we've already purchased from 3DM Motorsports as well as our uh, V-Box data logger that we're going to use to uh, log the performance of the system. Starting here with the front brakes, I'm running 11.75 two-piece rotors, Willwood hat, Willwood Dynapro radio mount calipers with Raybestos ST43 brake pads, I'm about to do a pressure check on the system here. In the rear, we also have the Willwood Dynapro radial mounts, but in a 1.375 piston. It's a 10.75 diameter rotor with a Willwood hat that was machined to get the depth correct. Let's take a look at the master cylinder side of the system. The thing that becomes most obvious is that I don't run a vacuum assisted brake booster. This car is straight manual brakes. You can make out the proportioning valve there mounted to the, to the bracket for the master cylinder. A line lock uh, T for the front brakes. The master cylinder itself is from a, I think it's an 81 Subaru Brat three-quarter bore. I'm using Tilton Reservoirs on that Subaru master cylinder. You can make out the bracket there on the firewall and how I've repositioned the master cylinder further upwards. And I also modified the pedal itself to get better pedal ratio. Uh, in the beginning, I, I couldn't find any other three-quarter bore tandem reservoir cylinders. But since then, I've realized you can find Nissan and Toyota offerings in this small bore size. Here's a more detailed view of the stage brake setup we run. You can make out the, the work that we do to make the, uh, the Willwood stage brake setup work within the MR2's brake slot. You can also see the brake lines there. Those are actually in series to the rear brakes. I'm going to put the carpet back up so you can see what it looks like with the interior all back in place. And there we go. Stage brake back in and everything tucked away behind the carpet. You can see how cleanly the master cylinder hides there. Okay, let's go over the components I bought for the ABS system. Uh, I bought all the mechanical parts and we'll be ordering the harness itself from 3DM Motorsport. They are they were super helpful on uh, any technical question I had on adapting this stuff to the SW20 and are very quick to respond. Now over here, here's the, the major mechanical components, the yaw sensor, the pressure sensors, the ABS pump, and the wheel speed sensors. Now from my understanding, the wheel speed sensors will work with the SW20 front and rear tone rings. Um, the one thing I did find out at this point was there are actually when they send you the kit, they send you two separate style sensors. There's a front and a rear. I believe the shorter version is the rear and the longer version is intended for the front. I'm actually believing with the MR2, SW20, we're going to be able to get away with just using four of the front type sensor. I take that back. Four of the rear type sensor. The, the only issue is, is in the, in the hub itself, it's going to have to be installed at 90 degrees to the existing bolt hole. So not like this, but like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick the spindle in the mill and machine the area flat and put a new bolt hole. And then that way I won't have to have any other adapter. The rear... Essentially, all it's going to take is for me to slot this bolt hole out for me and a slight spacer to make this sensor work in the rear. Now, on to the fittings. I ordered quite an assortment of fittings because the BMW system uses what's called a DIN or a bubble flare. So it's a different style than the, than the MR2, the 91 to 99. And I also ordered a roll 
of this very bendable hard line. The, the, the length is necessary because with the four channel ABS, you have to add a second uh, brake line to the rear. So two brake lines running to the rear instead of the normal one in your typical three channel MR2 ABS. Now there were later MR2s, uh, I believe they, they weren't in the US market, but foreign market MR2s that had a four channel ABS system. Uh, walk over here. This is actually the T fittings that I got from Technofit. They were really nice. They look like these T fittings. And I'm going to get you some other parts here. This is the my order sheet from Brake Whip with the part numbers. Now don't uh, don't use the quantities as the exact quantities because I like to order extra pieces. So there might be a couple of extra bits, but those are the part numbers that were necessary for the brake fittings. Uh, you can make out here that I've already put the tube ends in the uh, in the pump, and then I've labeled where they go. And also these pressure sensors require these adapters and also these T's because those are in line with the uh, the feed from the master cylinder to the pump and over here okay i want to take a look at this this is actually a breakdown of the german to english so you know where to put your fittings at that vr vl hr hl v and h that's how there's actually stampings here in the pump and not knowing german it's hard to make out what was front, what was rear, and what's right and left. Okay, now, and that, and I actually bought this flare kit because I had nothing to do double flares with. And I went ahead and paid extra and got a tubing bender and a new line cutter. I figured since I was going to be going at it, I might as well get all the tools to make this easier on myself and that's the mechanical pieces okay at this point in the video I hear you asking yourself will ABS truly be an advantage or a benefit well we bought something that we hope will uh, will tell the tale got myself a used V box HD2 setup from my friend Nathan freak in the UK I was actually having a bad track day with some lost data and I contacted Nathan and was asking him about the setup that he uses to video his uh, the uh, quarter mile passes he does in his purple MR2 and he told me he had this used set up for sale and I jumped at it. So with the VBOX HD2, one of the best systems on the market, we'll be able to tell if, uh, if the ABS is truly an advantage. Mm -hmm.